Picking back up immediately from last time. We're moving on to world two here. And I don't remember if I stated it in the previous part, I will be going after everything. Again, all the Yoshi coins, all of the, um, all the Yoshis, all the exits, everything. That is what's gonna make this playthrough the longest, and I just wanna show everything off. Because Benzlock put a lot of work into this ROM hack. And right off the bat, I'm gonna get me a couple capes. Now, here's something you can do to abuse respawning if you don't kill that um, Koopa after you jump on him. He'll actually come back. You can just get another cape easily that way. Now, this is another thing he fixed, the real quality of life update in my opinion. Um, so in the original game, if you were to get a mushroom while you had a feather or a flower on standby, the mushroom would um, replace it, which didn't make a whole lot of sense to me, so thankfully he did fix that too. And let's get rid of this freaking prana plant. It's annoying. Whoa, 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 and I lost Yoshi. Crap, 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 crap. I don't know if he made those guys as an intentional callback to Burrow, if that was the case, um, good job. And right above here is where you want to fly up, because there's another Yoshi coin up here. Be careful here, four Koopas will be flying right at you. I forgot what Toad even says here. Red dot areas on the map have two different exits. If you have the time and skill, be sure to look for them. Now, one thing that the game doesn't really tell you, although it should be kind of obvious, is some fortress and ghost levels even have more exits. And you can't really tell if they have that in exits unless you look it up. But don't worry, I'll be showing those off. And I shouldn't have killed that Koopa. I wonder if he'll still respawn. Okay, unfortunately, no. That's okay, I'll run into another one. Whoops. Uh, two steps forward, one step back. Typical Luigi. There should be another one right here. Yep, okay. Baseballs. Whoops. No, no, no. Why'd I jump into that? Good oh boy. I am getting my ass handed to me right now with Luigi. Get out of here, Birdo wannabe. Those things actually have a name, I just, I forgot them. I think the only one that I uh, know very well is the Cheddars, because they're just so freaking hilarious. The ones that, um, I don't know if you've already seen blue television games at that point, but they look, they look like they're skipping towards you like, I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna get you. And then anytime you kill them, um, it's almost as if they're going, oh man. Anyway, I thought that was really funny. Um, if you want to see that, look up Blue Television Games play in this game. I personally think he's far more entertaining anyway. Forget about the poison mushroom. That's another thing he brought back. And I forget what these things are. They actually remind me of the, um, I've already mentioned this previously, I think. They remind me of the Brachiage House in Monster Hunter. Just for the coloration, if anything. And the swoopers actually look like swoopers here. They don't look like um, parrots with bat wings. I thought that was really weird in the original. Yeah, 
and I love how he added little things like mushrooms and um, dry bones here so that the levels don't seem so flat and dull. Look, these are not here in the original, these little mushrooms and whatnot. Now, as you'll notice, there's a green dotted line here. That's for the um, green switch, which uh, I'll be going after pretty much right away. That was close. If that goes up too high, you can't actually get crushed. Get rid of the charging chick. If you got Yoshi, just go the blue shell through the um through the wall. Because unlike Yoshi's Island, he can do that here. Why did I do that? Get out of here. I like doing that too. <laughs> I'm easily amused by stupid shit like that. And how appropriate, Luigi in the Green Switch Palace. Eh, I'm not gonna bother with the one-up trick, again, because I know a spot where you can easily grind up to 99 in just like two trips. probably won't be able to make it to Morton in just this part, and I'm letting you know that right now. This is um, a noticeably longer world than um, World 1. And I think he used to be able to gulp these um, new turtle monsters he put in at one point, but he decided that made it a little too easy, so instead you have to jump on him. Uh, he actually changed up the Mega Moles slightly, too. You can't gulp them with Yoshi anymore. You can still cape spin them, but you can't gulp them. And I don't know if I've already gotten over this in, the, in this playthrough yet, but uh, yeah, you can actually double jump with Yoshi. And I think he did that because you can't really simulate the um, hover he can do in Yoshi's Island any other way. Because... Two, thi two things. One, that's an entirely different game, and two, I don't know how you would even get that working in this, um, in this ROM. I'm gonna look up the names of these, um, dinosaurs later on. I feel bad for not knowing their names, because you put so much work and detail into them, they look great. Fuzzy Beetles returning, obviously. I can't think of a single Mario game the Buzzy Beetles aren't in. Except maybe Mario 2 USA, but that doesn't really count. Because that's really just Doki Doki Panic. Japanese thought that, um... The initial Mario 2 was way too hard for the Western audience, so they didn't bother selling it to us initially. And we wouldn't get that until like years later in um, Mario All-Stars and there's actually an All-Stars um, cart that has Super Mario World on as well now if you're going for that that's the um, that's the version I recommend you get a couple things I'm not um, okay with on it though as far as Luigi like during the flying animation it's weird he can look like Mario and it even looks like he has um, a red arm, which he shouldn't when he's flying. But other than that, the um, silly sup dog um, arms crossing intro, or him like um, putting his arms on his hip while he's on Yoshi and facing toward the screen, those are from um, All Stars of the World. And these are the um, Rip Van Fish. They actually look a lot more menacing here. I'm glad he got rid of the pupils, because they just looked really freaking derby in the original.
And, uh, fun fact, if you hold down while you're swimming, you can slowly ascend. It actually makes controlling a lot easier. I think he also, like, slightly changed how mine and Luigi look when they gulp the, um, e balloon. I like it. They look a lot more silly, in my opinion. Now, I could swear in the original that there was a Yoshi coin both to the right and to the left, but in this one, it's just to the right. That's okay, though. I still know where the other um, Yoshi coins are at. I think he took the left one out because um, it might have been something he um, realized when he was making the ROM hack. There are actually uh, six Yoshi coins in the original, so it's really easy to get all five. Rid of Van Fish here. Pop off Yoshi. There we go. Yeah, one of the Yoshi coins actually isn't even on a screen. I'll get the P block later. I just want a clear path right now. Okay, now I can go back for it. You know what? I'm actually gonna go and get the Yoshi coin first, then then I'll go back for it. That's just adorable. I love how he gave him uh, goggles and a snorkel. Lerp, I don't get how you can hold your breath for so long. I need my trusty scuba gear. Yeah, I know it's a snorkel, so what? That's one thing I've always questioned too. Why can Mario and Luigi breathe underwater? That's where the other Yoshi coin is, by the way. It's off screen. I wonder if at any point, um, Benzlov was planning on making Toad playable. I don't think so, but I think that'd be interesting anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, timer. I'm about to finish the level here. Yeah, I think we'll call it a wrap there. We'll pick it up in the next part. I think it also glitched. Like, I could have sworn I got all five Yoshi coins and... Nope, I have to go back and get it again, so... Alright, that's fine. That's gonna happen from time to time. I'll probably just do those off-screen. But I thank you all for joining me again for part two, and, uh, yeah, look forward to part three. I'll see you all later on. Peace.